Shit here, my name is Jinx. Welcome back to the Crooked Man. There's a phone ringing. And we're not gonna pick it up. Hey, look, it's our friends. Damn it, David hasn't answered a single call. What's he up to and where? Oh, what do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David alone. David, father. Oh dear. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? I don't know why you. Okay. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I've always been scared for him. I'm scared that he will do something that was not turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help now, did it? Paul's like, I. Okay. It wasn't a bad idea. There was a mistake for me to pick that place. Yeah, it was. It's kind of. It, he picked the place. It was his boat. Huh? Damn it. Call again. If he doesn't answer, we'll call the police. Call the police now. What do you mean? Why would it? Why would the wound be? Ugh, don't make me. Don't tell me girl shows at a time like this. We're always talking about how you'll see things and. <gasps> David, David, where are you? Send to a hospital. Send to a hospital. I stayed over. What? Why are you over there? Listen, I found you, so wait for me. Don't let us move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. Honestly, David, what the heck? I'm still not over what he did last time, to be honest. David! Hey, David! Damn it, he hung up on me. God, you know that stay up probably took a day to get that on my bicycle. What? Bicycle? Motorcycle! <laughs> what the heck am I on about? Marina, I'm gonna get David. I'm going with you. David's my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. Why are you in? I'm surprised. Yeah, friends to the whiskey. We're coming for you, David, whether you like it or not, because you seriously need help at a time like this, so, uh. Take it. Where's your motorcycle? David's car. You should gotta be here you somewhere. Come on, maybe it's dark, so sit close to me. Right. Am I. Nope, I don't get control. Oh, yes, I get to control them! Look at this girl! Yeah! I have nothing to say about the car. Well, those footsteps that were coming up says, Is that you, David? David! David? David? Who's there? What are you doing here? What? A girl? What are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Forgot the voice. Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What's this about? Yeah, exactly. What? Go see him. Sissy, what are you doing here? Man, how was that? Go see him. Who was he? Was he on the roof? Who was on the roof? Pretty sure, at least. No, he's in the basement. What the heck? This is like the opposite way I need to go. Someone else. David? Hey, who are you? D! You prick. Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, you friend of mine? Go save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm killing on you. Peace. I said my bit. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. I don't like how Amelia is just, like, not even talking to us. Like, say something, please. Wait, he's not even here. What does that mean? Oh, he's on the roof, isn't he? Because, like, god damn it, he has to be, doesn't he? Fearing the worst now. Oh, can't move. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? Don't tell me a kid's wandering around here. Fluffy! He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a book of mouse. Crooked mouse? C c c what are you doing? And we all live together in the little crooked house. Hey, you listening to me? Clearly not. Then we had a crooked thought. Why is crooked this my lot? Why must it be crooked instead of not? 
So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't find him why, and he was sad all the time, and he sighed. I don't remember that part of the thing. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you, go see him! Hey! What was with that kid? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it, let's go, Maria. Maria said enough. Maria, what's up? S stop it. You, why are you teasing me? I don't know if this is... Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Maria, what do you mean? Teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there isn't anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. So that's it. What's that? Maria, go leave the hospital. Sorry for, um, trying to spook you and whatever. I've got, don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything would happen to you, I'm putting two family members in danger. Please just trust me. Alright, please come back quietly. Alright. No. She gone. Just wait for me, David. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, David, don't you dare. Not after everything we've been through. We went over a state together. That was pretty weird. David, what are you doing out there? Oh, oh, save, save. Oh no! That went Maria, frick. And that was not important, but it was, you know, I'm trying to. Open door. No, oh, well. No, Maria. Get him! David. Paul. Why? Why? Where was his voice? D Paul, wh why are you here? I come to pick you up. I asked for a good explanation and answer, but for now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just, just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away! Jesus. Oh, no. David, you... I'm hopeless. I keep walking and I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm a, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that'll be what I'll be. And those f only things I have. Oh, hello. David, wh what's that? What is that? The crooked man? Dude, the crooked man's like right behind you. What the heck? Agony. Agony. <laughs> Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right now. Right here. Right now. David! Punch. I kind of want to go punch. No, because, like, I'm so mean. God damn it. But because I think that's, like... I don't know. I don't think you can just... You're not going to be able to waste the the gun away from him because the crooked man's there and he's holding on to it so that's two against one and persuade might not work punching might just oh, it sounds so mean and this is not how i normally do it but this might you know knock david like he punches hot and hot especially in the face will knock him out of it and so he might like go the gun it's something unexpected so he might not you know it's it's a Unexpected supplies, you might not be ready for it. The quicker I might not be ready for it. So let's just let's try it. Ah! Holy fuck. <laughs> Ow? E no! What the f Paul, what the heck? You're worse than me, man! You damn monster! Get away from David! You are punching David. What the heck? What? Hey! Ow! Stop! stop. Ow! Hiya! Stop it! That hurts! <laughs> Stop it, you moron! David, you back with us? Don't say that I went nuts. I've been saved from the start. Like hell? That's the kind of thing you do saying. I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. David's like, what the hell? And I'm like, what the actually hell? None of the stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. That was the right thing? Holy crap. Ah, now he finally smokes. 
Hmm, to see D and Fluffy and that crooked monster. Oh, until so you believe in that monster? That's my iconic fanatic. Oh, that was David. Wow. Well, you see, I'm not exactly. It's not exactly phantasm. Did I tell you that I. Didn't I always say I see things? You and Maria never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, if I was to see D and the kiddo, I think I met them. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy D wouldn't be here. Sh <laughs> Shut up, David. Listen, man. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your coded snick. You seriously making jokes to the coat after this? Just shut up and listen. No jokes. So you had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. The whole shebang. When I first looked into the place, it was fine, but once you moved in, I had a strange feeling from you in that room. I had to guess that the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying that he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core, and always sympathize with others, and they always get taken advantage of, they always get ta taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, I really know the guy. You know, a little from that stuff he left, and all that stuff you could identify with. That was enough. So what do you think of the guy who's spitting the image of you? Do you hate them or you like them? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Think back, the crooked man tried to kill you, then dragged you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? Oh, Oh, that was sweet. Huh! There were people! Holy crap, I made a difference, but just by listening and talking things out and, you know, empathizing and sympathizing with these people and inspiring them not to give up on the on what their dream is, to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives and keep moving on to something better and bigger themselves. He hated you, but he kind of liked you. He kind of thought he was sh sharing the suffering with you, so he's seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. Me and my lawyer is in the car, just like, is my husband okay? Is David okay? What is happening? It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking, he wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me, got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? My address. I don't think it's that far. It's not so far yet, is it? Oh, he's part of throwing away the cigarettes. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? If you look like I don't go, the cooker man will follow me forever. So I'm going. And you can't stop me, Paul. You can only come with me. David! Are you coming? You come- Oh, he's not. You come back to us safe. I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. So don't fucking die on us. Yeah, no. Thanks. Very inspirational. 10 out of 10, I'll co definitely come back now. <laughs> oh. No, that's sweet. But it's not over yet. Man, this is probably really good. Scene 5. Home sweet home. We're going home? Not our home. Our home's a state away. Okay, we'll do scene 5. I think that's going to be probably the last scene of the game. So we're nearly there. I think it's the final showdown, probably. I was really sick to see everybody again. David realised he helped others. In his, uh, his own little quest to help himself, I guess. Which is very sweet and very inspirational and kind of like how life is. You know, you got you, sometimes you go through a hard time and you just do little things for other people and that helps them through their, half, their hard time they're going through. So it's really sweet and I actually kind of love it. But I'm going to leave it here because we'll do scene 5 tomorrow. 
So anyway, that's it for this video guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe for more awesome content. And see you in the next video.